Hey, Dave here from Excel Jet. So we recently did a survey and we asked people what they wanted to learn most about Excel formulas and functions. And one of the most popular replies was logical functions. So this would be formulas that use if, else, then, sometimes with or, sometimes with and. And so I thought I would do some training that shows you how to use and build up logical formulas. I'll start at the beginning and we'll look at some logical expressions that evaluate to true and false. And then I'll look at how you combine those using the OR function for an OR relationship and the AND function to do an AND relationship. And then finally, how to put that into an IF function so you can test a condition and take one action if you get a true value as a result and take a different action if you get a false value. Let's go do the training. OK, so here we are in Excel. And I'm going to enter some simple logical statements that either return true or false. These, are, these kind of statements are the building blocks for more complex formulas that do more advanced conditional analysis. So in the first case, we're going to test the cells in column B to see if they equal 80. And to do that, we type an equal sign, B5, and then equal 80. It's a very simple formula. When I hit return, we'll get false because 69 is not 80. And when I copy that down, we'll get uh, false everywhere except for the last value because cell B10 is 80. Now for not 80, you would start again equals, and we will type in B5, and we use the not operator, which is just the less than and greater than symbol together, and 80. When I copy this down, you'll see we get the mirror image of the values in C. Now the only false value is the last one. Greater than 80 is B5 is greater than 80 with the greater than sign. Copy that down. And we only get true where we have a value greater than 80. And if you need to do greater than or equal to 80, we would just do B5 is greater than, and we add the equal sign, 80. That means greater than or equal to 80. And when we copy that down, we'll get the same values except the last one in F10 is true because the value over there in B10 is 80. Now for text, You'll need, to in, you'll need to wrap the text in double quotes. So if we want to test for the color green, the formula is H5 equals, and then we put green in quotes, hit return. And you can see we only get true in I7 because H7 is green. And for not green, we would type equals, and then we do again H5. We use the not operator with green, just like that, in double quotes. And when we copy this down, you can see we get true everywhere except in J7. OK, so now we're going to look at how to combine logical statements using the AND function and the OR function. So in the first case, we want to return true if a value is between 75 and 90. And to do that, we'll start off with equals. This is an AND relationship, and we'll type in AND and start the parentheses. You can see we need to put logical one in, and logical one is this value here, B5 is greater than 75. Type a comma, now we're at logical two. Logical two is B5 is less than 90. And when I hit enter and copy that down, you can see that we're now correctly testing for values that are between 75 and 90. Now, the other relationship that you may want to use with logical statements is OR. And for that, use the OR function. We'll start off with equals OR. And when I open a parentheses, we are at logical one. Logical one is for the color green. So we'll just type in E5 equals green. And then we put a comma. We're at logical two. Logical two is E5 equals red. Close up the parentheses. And now this formula is testing for colors that are either green or red. And finally, let's look at how to combine the OR and AND functions together. So in this case, we want to test for the color red or green and a quantity that's greater than 10. So we'll start off with AND. And 
we need to right away go to an or because we're testing two colors. So we'll do or, and this will be H5 equals red, and then H5 equals green. And we need to close the quotation marks there, close the parentheses. When we type a comma, we're on our second logical for and. And so the first logical was the or, fo or formula. The next one is going to be quantity is greater than 10. And when we copy this down, we'll get true only when the color is red or green and the quantity is greater than 10. Okay, so now let's look at how to combine these logical statements inside the if function. In this case, a passing score is greater than 80. We know how to test for that now. That would just be C5 is greater than 80. And when we hit return, we get false because 69 is not greater than 80. And you can see that everybody passed but Sarah and Tim. Now, if you want to display a message there, we would type equals if to start the if function. And we're just going to put the same test. So this is going to be C5 is greater than 80. And now we have to do a value of true. We'll do pass. And a value of false, we'll do fail. And when I copy that down, you'll see that we get a pass or fail for each score. And finally, if you wanted to uh, not display a value in some case, like let's say we want to show pass but not fail, in that case, we can just get rid of the text value here. We have to put something and we'll put empty quotes, which means empty string, which will display nothing. And when I hit return, you'll see we get nothing there, but we do get a pass in cases where the test score is greater than 80. Now let's look at how to combine the if function with the or function. In this case, we have a list of employees and we wanna group employees that are in the sales or marketing department in group A and employees that are in the other departments, fulfillment, support, and engineering in group B. So we'll start off with if, and let's just make it simple to start it. Let's just test for, test for sales. Uh, to do that, we wanna say uh, if F5 equals sales, and now we'll put, it, we'll put A for group A, and let's just leave it at that. When I hit enter, we'll get false in that case, but you can see we get the A's where the department is sales. So now let's extend that formula. I'm gonna leave everything selected here and come up here. I'm gonna just cut this out here and I'll put the OR function in and then paste. So that's our first test, first logical. Second one is F5 equals marketing. Kinda of close the parentheses. And now I'm gonna hit control enter to update all the formulas. And you can see we have more A's because now we're correctly grouping marketing as well. And finally, to add the B group, all we need to do in this case is simply provide a value of false. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just backspace over that. We'll provide B for value of false. And I'll hit control enter again. And now you can see that we have A's for sales and marketing and B for everything else. So in our last example, we're gonna look at how to combine the if function with the and function. In this case, we have a list of properties and we want to mark properties that have at least three bedrooms, so three or more bedrooms, less than 3,000 square feet, and are built after 1979. So we'll start off with if. And then we're gonna use and because all of these criteria are together with an and relationship. And first we'll look for bedrooms, which is D5 is greater than or equal to three. And for the next logical, we'll look for a square footage, which is F5 is less than 3000. And finally, for the last logical, logical three, we want properties that, uh, in this case, that would be G5, are greater than 1979. I close the parentheses, we're done with the AND function. 
And when I type a comma, we're on value of true. In this case, we're just gonna use an X. So an X in quotation marks is gonna just display text. And for value of false, we'll display nothing. Let's put double quotes, close up the formula. And when I copy this down, you'll see that we're only marking properties that meet all three criteria. Don't forget that you can use the screen tip window to navigate the different arguments. So if we go up here into the formula and I click the if function, you'll see that we can select the logical test right here. And notice that is the entire and function with all three criteria. And we can also select value of true and value of false. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that training on logical formulas in Excel. The worksheet that I used in the training is attached below this video, so download that and give those techniques a try. And if you have any questions about this training, uh, be sure to leave a comment below the video. We'll talk to you soon.